So, what you're trying to say is that you fell here from another world? But when you wanted to leave and go on to the next world, your path was blocked by some unknown god? Outlanders, your journey ends here. Who are you? The sustainer of heavenly principles. The irrigation of mankind ends now. Just like that, a god took away my sister. Some kind of seal was cast upon me, and I lost my power. So while we used to travel from world to world, we are now trapped here. How many years ago was it? I don't know. But I intend to find out. When I woke, I was all alone, until I met you two months ago. Yeah, Paimon really owes you for that. Otherwise, Paimon likely would have drowned. So Paimon will do her best to be a great guy. We should head off. Let's get going.
Are you hurt? You've actually got the power to go up against the dragon. Are you a new ally? Or a new storm? Quite rewarding, no? We've seized another temple from Storm Terror's grasp. I can take care of the rest here. You go take care of other things while I'm at it. See you later then, bye-bye. There's no way Hilly Turtles organized an ambush like this themselves. Not with their limited mental capacity. <laughs> Thus you were behind this. Knights of Avonius, always so inefficient. Agree to disagree, but your involvement in this just made things a whole lot more interesting. What is to be sung transpired in days of yore? When the Divine Archon still walked the Earth, a dragon cast his curious gaze on the world below as he parted from the heavens that gave his birth. The dragon sought truth amongst common folk, but mortal trifles only fogged his mind. The wind-born bard strummed his strings dulce, and the holy lyre answered his questions kind. The dragon was but a child full of wonder and soared the heavens free from care. Bard's songs invited him to sing along, for he yearned to let all perceive him fair. Enchanting legends the bard and dragon were, but the tides of despair soon engulfed the land. The lion fang perished, and the falcon flat slept. As a vile dragon approached Mondstadt in the Atlantic. Over the cathedral loomed death and his friends. Of the people's agony, the bard soon sang. The soaring dragon heeded his grave call, and amidst the windstorms of brutal war, blood of venom sent the sky dragon into slumber, only to awake to be expelled in abhor. Why do people in this age loathe me so? But the holy liar replied no more. Wrath and woe, vigor and venom, poured from the dragon's bitter eyes. The dragon's curse sprawled in silence, but the liar could no longer see. He was once such a gentle child, now so full of rage and suffering. I also came across a teardrop crystal. Can you purify it?
cannot be undone. Then why do I see sadness in your eyes? Sadness that speaks of your yearning for this song. We are communicating. Huh? No! Don't just fart! Do not be fooled by him, dear dragon. He loves you to rot alone. Now he expects to deceive you once more. Let's wrap this down. Mondstadt has already turned it back on you. Just now. Why? Why did you not ask me to protect you like the last time? Me not wanting you to listen to the Abyss Order doesn't mean that you have to listen to me. Freedom, if demanded of you by an Archon, is really no freedom at all. Is this the power of the Animal Archon? But I am no longer part of the Four Winds. Even if that's so, you still protected us regardless. Now spread your wings of freedom and go with my blessing. And so, the Storm Terror threat was quelled. I clarified the misunderstanding to the citizens of Mondstadt and let them know that they are safe. To them, it seems Storm Terror attacked Mondstadt out of nowhere and then vanished just as quickly. They must be finding the whole ordeal very confusing. However, winds change their course. Someday, they will blow towards a brighter future. to fix it, but 
but you'll never touch the liar again! We, uh, really should get going. That trick I used to repair the holy liar. <laughs> I mean, the magic I used isn't going to hold forever, you know. What? <gasps> Last, Mondstadt's rodent ruler in the flesh. Scurrying through the streets looking for leftovers? Mondstadt calls this a god? Resident rodent beats invasive vermin! Don't you dare speak back to me, insolent bard. Absentee Archon of Mondstadt. How impotent you've become. That smirky wear looks out of place. Did you steal it from your master's face? Uh. You should have held your tongue. <sighs> so, this is a gnosis. Wouldn't be caught dead wearing this ugly thing in public. Beauty is a waste. When the beholder has no taste. <laughs> Fenty! <laughs> well, we have what we came here for. Come, before our dear Favonian friends arrive. Leave nothing for them to find. <laughs> upon us. have been killed. Seal the exits! Buddy, hold still. Stop! Stop! <sighs> Come with me. Back, sir. You honor us with your patronage. Mr. Zhongli is awaiting your arrival in the room you booked.
はい Swordsmanship is quite impressive, but that's about as far as you'll get. <laughs> Didn't think you had that card hidden up your sleeve. You were just playing it. Oh, quiet down. Stop acting like some wide-eyed recruit. You've seen this world. You of all people should know. This should have been expected. <laughs> well then, I'll be taking more access gnosis now. <laughs> I see. Well, this is most unexpected. You... You beat me to it, didn't you? <laughs> Let's see. Will the nation that has lost its deity be swallowed up by an ancient malice once more? If you wish to drown together with the people of Lyra, you're free to stay and enjoy the show.
interlopers are no more. Now we may commit ourselves fully. Be careful now. The Guizhong Ballista is destroyed. Huh? Without its covering fire, retaliation shall be difficult. But the Jade Chamber is our last line of defense. We can't give another inch, no matter what. I have another idea. Uh, what do you mean, Lady Ningguang? I'll sacrifice the Jade Chamber. What is the meaning of this? I understand. Traveler, lend me a hand. Farewell, old friend. Goodbye for now. Let us meet again in the future.
Before we'll meet again. But we need not rush, brother. I have more than enough time to wait for you. <laughs> we have always had enough time. He was once a good friend of mine. One day he asked me about a sword art of which he had heard, the Musono Hitotachi. I told him it can only be witnessed when divine punishment is administered. It is the pinnacle of the Raiden Shogun's skill, a symbol of ultimate power. But he replied, there must be one who can withstand it. There will always be those who dare to brave the lightning's glow. Then, the Vision Hunt Decree arrived. People's aspirations were stripped away as the Raiden Shogun began to construct her ideal of eternity. While I was fleeing from place to place, I heard that my friend had challenged the Vision Hunters to a duel before the throne. A solemn yet brutal challenge. The defeated faced divine punishment while the victors gain a second chance. Perhaps he thought he of all people should make a stand. Coming face to face with the Musono Hitotachi was all that he truly desired, after all. When I arrived at Tenchukaku, the duel was over. I heard his sentence of divine punishment, his severed blade hitting the ground. Perhaps that was the glory he had yearned to witness. In his last moments, what expression was on his face? Before I knew it, I had stepped forward and snatched the dying vision and was running from the scene. All I knew was that I mustn't let his hope, which burned so brightly, become buried among the ice-cold statue of a god.
<sighs> Please, keep your eyes on me. of using elemental energy without a vision. You are an exception, it appears. Exceptions. The enemy of eternity. will be inlaid upon this statue. Shogun, who was that? Seize him under the decree. Huh? Next time, I will strike twice. <laughs> Huh! <laughs> 
Hold the line! My lady. I just hope you can afford all these mercs you've gathered! Kazuha! We meet again, old friend. the anger. Embrace it! The wrath of the gods fills this factory, and it feeds on your <laughs> anger. <laughs> uh, what's happening? Get out! Nizhnayan diplomat, you know what happens if you lay a finger on me. I swear, if you strike me, I will make sure... The Matui will make sure that your precious Inazuma... Stop! I order you! And you! Filthy rats! All of you! You are the enemy of eternity. <laughs> but as the victor, I acknowledge your honor. Therefore, I shall allow you to leave Tenshukaku alive. There will always be those who dare to brave the lightning's glow.
so we meet again. you cutting it rather close hmm Miko this was your doing <sighs> now now don't forget who taught you how to place your consciousness in objects surely you don't think your ambition alone is enough to shake A's will do you though you alone are here they too have ambitions which they long since entrusted to you. Now then, close your eyes. <laughs> We can abolish the Vision Hunt Decree! Lightning flashes. It casts a shadow. My name means shadow. With my blade, I purged all obstacles to progress. And yet, something was lost with each step forward. In the end, I even lost her. The tales are still retold in the shade of every Thunder Sakura. But the wounds left on our nation by that terrible loss still ache. Never stop searching, even if only for a brief flash of light. If nothing else, we have the present moment. She said that once. But I've seen the nation strike forward and lose everything to the heavenly principles. Perhaps only if time stands still will the lightning's glow never fade. The present moment is a fragile illusion. Only eternity can bring us closer to the heavenly principles. I am no longer the shadow. Mine is the most supreme and noble form. Let power over the realm be vested within me. In this form shall I honor my subject's dream. For a land of eternity, unchanging forevermore. As promised, the Raiden Shogun abolished the Vision Hunt Decree. Finally, her people's wishes penetrated her locked heart. Beyond the plain of Euthymia, she saw what eternity means in the eyes of the world. When one's fervent ambition burns brightly, the gods will cast their gaze upon you. Some ambitions have the power to heal wounds, to bring victory, to inspire hope. But some ambitions outlive their masters long after the soul ascends. They remain as they were in the beginning.
burning bright and true for all eternity. to focus constantly on your heartfelt wishes when you enter inside. Only if you are strong enough can I deliver you to the right destination. that blesses the people in this moment new to the world and yet to be known when to plant it where it shall bloom she who brings it into being must let her heart and dreams decide grant it life eh is this is it really Eternity extends time into infinity. Dreams illuminate each moment within. When both shine in unison, the sacred Sakura blooms from the darkness, finally free from the clutches of the heavenly principles. Now the nightmare has dissipated, and reality is made whole. The vision we both yearn for is still further ahead. My only regret is that I cannot witness Inazuma's future. Nor can I walk this journey with you. <sighs> Do you know, eh? I am so happy right now. Because my final wish has now come true. Your polearm once protected me from countless calamities. For this, I've always felt indebted to you. Though I could never repay you in full, this sacred Sakura will buy you some time until you are ready to awaken and embrace the new. What do you think? Did it do the trick? <laughs> this time, it really is goodbye, eh?
Revenger of the Vortex by Sh. What is that? Osile's wife. Final follower of the Overlord of the Vortex. Sounds like you knew this was coming! Beto sensed something was stirring in the deep. She warned me months ago. Knowing she harbors hatred toward the Jade Chamber, I chose to rebuild it now as a way of drawing her out. Got it! Well, let's go fetch the Adepti! No. Huh? In this human age, the people of Liyue must find a way to overcome this crisis on our strength alone! Your life brings nothing but disaster to us all. At least if you die, I can bring her back. The day you learn how to use your strength for the good of others is the day that you can truly become part of human society. Amplification device.
strategies, Captain Dainsliff, Twilight Sword. Back then, I failed you and failed to protect our people. <laughs> no. For 500 years, you have faithfully done your duty. To this day, I am proud of you all. <sighs> Kanria didn't fall, did it? Since you're still here. Correct. So, no need to revive the homeland. Stars align, bestow your light, evil purged by thunder's might. Spirit curbed, Numa surge, by dictum divine, heed these words. Do as I command! Aha! Uh -huh. The fantastic compass is an amplifier. Maintain this energy level and we may stand a chance. I will maintain the energy flow. Understood. Everyone, stand back. I shall hold the line by sealing the surface. As Yanxias, we must fight for this world. General Alatus, pulling it! Watch out! This trip may be dangerous, yet you insist on going. I have guarded this place for several hundred years. Only to seek the nameless Yaksha do I request your approval. Hmm. <laughs>
see me a scum? <laughs> Boss! Finally! Did you use it? Great! Now we can... Uh -huh. Boss? Do not impede our work. Is that understood, all Haytham? Of course. I was only trying to help. Take him away! Everyone, I dedicate this to our god, the dance of Subzerus. I'd be lying if I said I had no regrets. I would have loved to see Milo's dance. Triumphant hero returns at last. 
and to a rather spectacular welcome, even if I do say so myself. You're the outcast, expelled from the academia. Indeed I am. Although these days they tend to call me the Doctor. If you're looking for your researcher friend, she has already been taken into confinement. With some basic caution, she could have discovered the listening device on her person. Clearly, she lacks the degree of rigor expected of a true scholar. <sighs> the people of Samir City! What have you done to them? I simply made some minor adjustments to their Akasha terminals. Now they can deposit information directly into the subconscious. As you can see, all these lovely people now believe this traveler is a hero who has just saved the world. <laughs> My experiment is a success. And now it seems they can no longer hold back their sheer adoration. Oh no! What should we do? These are all just regular people! Leave now! You need to get out of here. What? That guy's a Fatui Harbinger! We can't just leave you here! Nor can I abandon the people of Samaru! <sighs> Don't worry. We'll meet again outside of the city. You appear to have overridden their mental faculties with your own consciousness. To possess such a powerful mind, you must be the God of Wisdom. It took three betrayals for me to finally understand. The world is just an elaborate tapestry of lies. My fury will never be quelled. The first to betray me was a god. My creator. My mother. Valuing strength above all. She saw no worth in me, and I was discarded. The second was a human. My family. My friend. Consumed by fear, he saw me as an abomination. The third was one exactly like me. A hope for the future. A fledgling barely out of the nest. Powerless before his mortality, he broke his promise to me. Humans, they can't be trusted. And the gods fill me with pure loathing. So I said good riddance. <laughs> I denounced the world and laughed in its face. <laughs> My chest will never again be defiled by worldly filth. I will scrub away every last trace of human emotion. Then it will be empty, a blank slate, and ready to receive a supreme gnosis, brimming with pure divinity. <laughs>
shaking. Wait a second. It's a earthquake! Civilization is born of knowledge, but so too can knowledge be its demise. A disaster caught us unaware. It was knowledge that did not belong to this world. The Scarlet King brought this forbidden knowledge into our world, and it quickly spread like a plague. People's minds were filled with crazed whispers, Dark gray scales spread across their bodies. Even the land was stripped of its vigor. Only a desperate, deathly silence remained. Were it not for greater Lord Ruka Devata from the forests, the damage would have been irreversible. She summoned the priests to build temples and infused into them the divine power of life. The disaster was miraculously tempered, and the embers of our civilization were preserved in Aru village. Alas, the miracle could not last. As long as forbidden knowledge continued to exist, it would forever blight this world. In the end, the proud king of the desert, my eternal lord, chose to sacrifice himself. I have spent my whole life since guarding one of these many temples. But now, my duty is coming to an end. As I close my eyes for the final time, the sight of that noble deity will appear in my vision once more. In helping the Scarlet King to eradicate forbidden knowledge, she exhausted her strength, and her form became that of a small child. How strange. Now that I think of her, I no longer have any fear of death. For I sense that the spirit of life will abide with me during my eternal sleep. Children of the desert, cling no longer to past grievances, but hold tight to the memory of this act of benevolence.
Well, what do we have here? So you stole that divine knowledge capsule. <laughs> traitor. You traitor! <laughs> Even the most rational scholar will yearn for the power of a god in a moment of desperation. Aren't you doing the exact same thing as me, Althatham? <laughs> Unfortunately for you, no god will lend you their power. <laughs> Azor! <laughs> He has gone completely insane. Take him to the Matra and exile him to Aru village. Then find someone to take these two to the confinement room. I'll deal with them later. Grand Sage, we've finished all required preparations for Nyagarbaha Day. We may begin to enter the capsules now. Excellent. You may begin. seen a performance like this this is incredible yeah but I heard that public performances like these have been banned I can't believe she's doing this here Grand Sage there's some commotion outside <laughs> how uninteresting issue the new prohibition act from the Akasha to the guards they'll know what to do you think we should, like, stop her? Let's just watch for a little bit longer. so eager for my birth. I remember you, Boer, the god of wisdom, and standing beside you, the traveler. Is heal knowing and powerful now like greater Lord Ruka Devada? No, I can't feel the same kind of divinity I felt from the greater Lord. It seems that the sages didn't get the chance to infuse the divine knowledge capsules into him. But even still, he has undoubtedly become a true god now. <sighs> so we're too late? The bell 
Balladeer has already... already become a god? The Balladeer. A long bygone title. When my spirit ascended to divinity, I felt as if I had existed for the same number of epochs as heaven and earth. Looking back, the existence of what once called itself Kuni Kazushi appears infinitely small and ugly. This is supposed to be a battle between gods, yet you choose to hide behind a mortal. And now, you're acting like you'd sacrifice yourself for a human. Are you having fun proving a false sense of heroism to yourself, Boor? <laughs> You've tried to take my gnosis from me? <sighs> we just concluded the 168th loop. <gasps> Did you know that in the effort to create you? The people of Sumeru were forced to live through the exact same number of Subzerus festivals and Samsara cycles. The power of dreams. When did you use it on me? <sighs> you can't even defeat me in a dream. What do you hope to achieve with this little trick? Huh? Come, Traveler. Just like before. Allow me to awaken the memories in your dreams. <gasps> All that battle experience! It's more than that. Compile everyone's wisdom in the name of the Archon. That is the original function of the Akasha. I've sent everything that happened just now to the people of Sumeru in the form of knowledge. I've asked them... to help you find a way to defeat the false god. your disposal. <laughs> Meaningless tricks won't save you.
Are you done with your tricks? Can I finally take this as a real battle between gods? I'll leave this to you. The first sage. A fool. Humans. Filthy humans. The answer to the most important mystery. Ermin's soul is still waiting to be saved. With the power of another Gnosis, we may now finally understand the last memory of Greater Lord Rukadevata. This is. That's right. This is the last memory of my predecessor. We all nestle under the great tree of wisdom, peering out to perceive the world. From the earth and from the rain, we perceive its wonders, until we become a white bird to perch atop a branch, and finally snap off the most important leaf. Once upon a time, I alone dreamed in this world. In my dreams, Everybody would also dream after they fell asleep. Wild and wonderful thoughts would emerge from their minds. Some tumbled to the ground, and others floated to the sky. Connecting all things in the world into one dazzling net. Among a plethora of worlds were numerous smaller worlds. All of fate, finding within the tapestry their brilliant glow. I gradually understood that these indescribable and constantly changing things are the most profound things in the world. Only they can completely repel the madness. Only dreams can awaken consciousness from the deepest darkness. one who posed this question, yet also the one who sought a solution. Saving the world with the dreams of the people used to be my answer. And now, you've also found your own answer, and I shall return all the dreams to the people. Sumeru, may you be blessed tonight with the sweetest of dreams.
You have made your decision. Now, take this. <sighs> Set him free? A puppet? What's he doing here? It's... You're a human as far as I'm concerned. Everyone's here. Wonderful. What a fine blade. Nagamasa will be thrilled. This is... my... Is he alright? All worthless dross will be purged. That's why this won't be the end. Take it! Please, Kari Bear! It's my fault! I'm so sorry. If only I'd known. It's all... It's all too much! Papa! <gasps> Traveler! Traveler! <laughs> 